Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to add Google reviews to Canva website. The first thing you will need to do is open a new tab and you're going to type in elfsite.com. Once on elfsite.com, you're going to go over to the top left hand corner and you're going to hover over widgets. After hovering over widgets, you're going to simply scroll down then from there, you're going to select Google Reviews. After selecting Google Reviews, you're going to scroll down. And from here, you can select the template that you would like to use. So for example, would you like a badge, a grid, or you can select whether you would like one of these options, as you can see right here. You can select any one of these options to your liking. For example sake, I'll select this template then I'll tap on continue with this template. After you have done that, you're going to type in the business name or address. So let me type in this business, for example, let's say for example sake, hardware in Miami, then I'll use this business. After you have done that, you can tap on filters. And from here, if you would like to display only five star ratings, you can do that, or four stars or any ratings. And also, if you'd like to exclude certain reviews, you can do that. You can also change the background color. So we'll tap on style from the left hand menu option. So let's say you'd like it to be dark mode, you could do that. You can also select right there and you can see that the font color has changed and the color concept will change. Now, after doing that, you're going to tap on add to website for free. After doing this, you'll be able to sign up using Google, Facebook, or email. So let me do that real quick. Once you're signed up, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, once again, you can go over to the left-hand menu option, and from there, you can change the layout. So for example, you could tap on layout, and you can choose whether you'd like to use a carousel, a grid, or masonry. You can see the different options or a floating badge, if that's the case, you could do that. But we'll be selecting carousel. After doing that, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on publish, as you can see right here, I'll tap on close. Then from here, all I would need to do now is tap on install. After selecting install, instead of copying the code, you're going to tap on share link then you're going to copy the link. After copying the link, you're going to go back into Canva. I want you to go over to the left-hand menu option, tap on text. Then you're going to simply tap on add a heading. And from there, you can simply move the text box to the top of the page, select the entire text box, then tap on the link icon. Then you're going to paste in the link that you have copied. After doing that, all you'll need to do now Right where you see display mode, you're going to tap on link and you're going to select embed. Then from there, you can simply adjust the size as you can see right here. And if I were to tap on preview, you can see how it looks. So you can see right here that we now have Google reviews on our Canva website. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.